Hello, and thank you so much for joining me today. My name is Bethany Criswell, and I am a licensed funeral director. Today, we'll be, we will be talking about FEMA's Funeral Assistance Program. Now, I know you may have heard some information on the news or may have talked to family and friends about it or even seen something on Facebook. Today, I hope to share with you some information that will help you get acclimated to the process as well as who's eligible and the guidelines in which you may be eligible to receive this money. First off, what exactly is FEMA's Funeral Assistance Program? This program offers funeral assistance to families who have experienced the death of a loved one due to COVID-19. The federal government is reimbursing up to $9,000 for families who have buried or have paid for funeral services for a loved one who passed away of COVID-19. Who all is eligible for this program? First up, the death must have occurred in the United States. Number two, on the death certificate, the cause of death must state COVID-19 as one of the causes of death. And the third thing is the applicant must be a US citizen. Starting on Monday, April 12th, the call center will open for all those who wish to complete an application. You must call the number. They are not doing any applications online. In order for you to start the application, you must call the FEMA Funeral Assistance Hotline. And that phone number is 1-844-684-6338. So once again, starting on Monday, April 12th, you must call the number, the FEMA Funeral Assistance Hotline number, which is 1-844-684-633 to start your application. They will be open from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. Central Time, Monday through Friday. A few things that you can expect during your call with FEMA First, they will generate for you a case ID number. This will be your applicant number that you will use throughout the process. They will also tell you some of the supporting documents that will be required to go along with your application. You will be able to either fax these documents in, mail them via US mail, or they will provide for you a web address for you to upload the documents. Some of the required supporting documents that you will need to submit along with your application are one, you will have to submit a certified death certificate. This is the death certificate that has the raised seal on it. It must be a certified death certificate and it must have on it, one of the causes of death must be COVID-19. You will also be required to submit the statement of goods and services. This is the funeral bill in which you as the applicant have signed when you were at the funeral home. You must have a copy of that statement of goods and services and your name must be listed on the statement of goods and services that you were financially responsible for taking care of the funeral expenses for your loved one. You must also submit other supporting documents that includes how the funeral bill was paid for. So whether it was insurance proceeds, if you received any additional government assistance, if you received any donations, as well as maybe VA benefits, you will need to provide this documentation in addition to your application. Now let's talk about some of the uh, funeral expenses that are covered under the funeral assistance program. If you um, had a funeral service for your loved one or a memorial service that is covered, if you ordered any death certificates, if you ordered any types of services surrounding the funeral service, those are um, included and you will be reimbursed for those. Cemetery fees, as well as cremation fees, in addition to that, if you have a headstone or a marker, those items are included in order to be reimbursed. 
Some of the information in which they will require for the applicant will be the social security number of both the decedent as well as the applicant. You will also be asked to uh, submit the date of birth of both the decedent and the applicant. They will ask for your current mailing address, your current telephone number, as well as if you'd like to have the reimbursement in the form of a check, they can mail it to you. Or if you would like uh, auto deposited funds into your checking account or your savings account, they will ask for you to choose which option. And they will ask if you do choose the selection for a auto deposit, they will ask you for the routing number as well as the account number for the account in which you want the money deposited into. A few questions that have come up in reference to FEMA's Funeral Assistance Program is, what if um, I buried more than one person or paid for funeral expenses for more than one person who passed away of COVID-19? You are eligible to submit uh, additional applications for one per deceased person. So for one deceased person, you are eligible for up to $9,000 reimbursement. If you have uh, were financially responsible for multiple family members who passed away of COVID-19, you are eligible to submit one application per deceased person. And this you will be eligible to receive up to $35,000 per state. So if you have been resp financially responsible to handle the funeral arrangements for more than one deceased person who passed away of COVID-19, you will be eligible to submit that information to FEMA's Funeral Assistance Program to be reimbursed. Like I said, it is 9,000 per deceased person and up to 35,000 per state. Oftentimes I do get the question of, well, what if I paid for the funeral expenses with a insurance policy? If you paid for the insurance, if you paid for the funeral expenses with insurance, yes, you are eligible to still receive the reimbursement. So once again, I'm gonna repeat, if you, if you paid for funeral services with an insurance policy, you are eligible still to receive up to $9,000 of the reimbursement. Another question that I often get is, what if there was more than one person who paid for the bill? FEMA's uh, funeral assistance program only allows, they generally only allow one applicant per deceased person. So if, you, if there were multiple people who uh, helped pay for the bill, you will need to submit one application, one applicant per deceased, and then that applicant will be responsible for distributing the money once the reimbursement comes in. Now, say if there are two people who signed the statement of goods and services, FEMA will allow for one applicant and one co-applicant to apply for the funds. However, if there is multiple people who have signed the bill, you can only submit your application with the one applicant and a co-applicant. And like I said earlier, if there were multiple people who helped pay for the bill, you would just need to have one applicant on your um, application and then that applicant will be responsible for, for distributing the money to each individual who helped pay for the funeral bill. And lastly, I'd like to share with you that there is a current scam right now going on. So I want people to be aware of what that scam is. Uh, people are calling and um, saying that they are representatives of FEMA's funeral assistance program, and they will try to get you to register. FEMA will never make the initial contact to families, only the applicant will call and make the initial contact. Once the applicant makes the initial contact with FEMA and then FEMA will issue you a case number, it is after that point that FEMA may contact you for supporting documents. So once again, just to reiterate, the applicant must make the initial call to the hotline to start the application. And once the application is generated a case number, 
the case ID number, then uh, FEMA will reach back out to you if they need to correspond with you. So please be aware of that scam. You don't wanna ever give any personal information out to anyone claiming to be from FEMA. You wanna always reference that uh, case ID number and you want them to reference that case ID number as well. So I am going to share my screen with you just to give you the information as far as the phone number to call again, as well as the date in which you will be required to call. That number once again is 844-684-6333. And they will begin taking applications on April 12th, which is Monday. And their office will be open Monday through Friday from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. Once again, I'd like to thank you so much for joining me today. And I hope that you have learned some valuable information about FEMA's Funeral Assistance Program. If you have any additional uh, questions, please give our office a call. Please stay safe, continue to mask up and stay blessed. Thank you, bye-bye.